Hi and welcome to Handsoft. My name is Ebba and in this session I will walk you through how you can set up a Kanban in Handsoft. The first thing we want to do is to enter the pipeline and Kanban generator tool and describe how our Kanban should look like. I have already started off here and I created a few process steps and I put them in the right sequence. If I now want to add another step let's say that some documentation should happen in parallel here. I'll just go ahead and click Create Task and I'll name the process step Documentation. And I'll make sure to introduce it to the process where it should sit. When defining these process steps, you have the possibility to automate a number of things here just to make sure that you keep the admin work for your users to an absolute minimum. Let's say, for example, that we know that there's a specific person who always will be responsible for the design and we want all the items that we work on to show up in his or her to-do list when they're ready for the design step. I can automate that by defining his name, Sam in my case, in this setting here. And if you want to, you can also choose to inform this person by email if you use the setting down here. There are some other interesting settings here. Maximum work in progress can be defined for each of the steps in our process. This indicates the maximum amount of items that we would like to have sitting in this step. The option underneath, tag time, allows us to limit the time we allow things to sit in a specific process step. So these options here are used in organizations that are actively working to become lean and continuously improve their work processes. So let's take a step back and see if there's anything else that we want to change. Maybe we want to run this thing through an approval workflow once testing is done. We can then open the test step here and uh, first we can choose in the breakdown options that we should be able to assign a workflow to this task. And then we choose the right workflow we would like to apply. So I'll select my approval workflow here. I'm starting to be happy with the design of my Kanban and I would like to see how the Kanban wall now really looks. So that looks nice so far. The next thing I want to do is to enable my team to use the pipeline for the time period up until our next release. So now I'll navigate to the planning view in Handsoft. Let's say that we have a one month time frame here in which we want to enable a team to continuously work on and finalizing items or user stories in the Kanban we created. To define this time frame, I will throw a one month iteration here into the schedule. Make sure it got the right length. And then I'll assign the right team to this uh, iteration. I will also name it here to something good. If all the items this team will work on should go for this process we defined in our Kanban, I can automate so that all items committed to this iteration will get assigned to the Kanban. I can do that by just right-clicking here and choose Default Pipeline or Kanban for new items. I'll choose my Kanban called User Stories. So now, if we navigate to our Kanban board and we define two things, first the Kanban that we want to look at and then from what time period or what team we're going to look at. Uh, and now we can start executing things. If I open up our product backlog, I will sort the things of highest priority to the top and I'll just start throwing the most important things into our Kanban. The team will start making progress and once the items reach the design state here, we know what happens. It's going to show up in the to-do list of Sam, right? So if I just bring in his list, you'll see here how these design tasks start to accumulate in his list of to-dos and also how he can push them forward through the process by just completing them. So that covers the basics for how you can set up your own Kanban in Handsoft. Thank you for watching.